Jackson. I'm the founder and creator of Plate Busters. As you notice, our group is a large group, just like Michael's is growing here every time you guys come out. What our focus upon our group is, is we stand out here and we do protest against what's going on in the sex trade for the factor of the injuries and the young women that are being taken throughout our community and our neighborhood, for the young ones that are being talked into this and being treated like objects. Long, long time has this gone on in the North End. Way too long. Constantly treated as nothing but objects. Told all we are is we're people of the North End. Well, that's the thing that's missed constantly. We are people just like everyone else. We all have feelings and hearts. We're all thinking about the future of tomorrow, that being all of our children. I personally stepped up to the reason and the factor of it is I have six children of my own. When my children are playing in my front yard and I have someone trolling up on them, asking it if any of you children are working, that's why I take the license plates of the Johns. That's why I try pushing the girls out of the neighborhood instead of standing around my churches in front of my playgrounds, in front of my schools, out here in between any hour of the day and night, when you have endless lines, continuously, headlight after headlight after headlight, try to put your children to sleep to get them an education. How do they get any sleep? Well, the easiest way of stopping that, and the easiest way, like it was stated by Lauren, we have a small police force. They can do their part, but it also means we have to take ownership and do our part. If we want it to stop, it means open our eyes. Don't be afraid to step out in your yard. If you don't recognize that black car sitting up the block, watch it for a few minutes. See what he's doing. Go back in your house, nobody knows. It's easy to pick up a computer and then when you look through it, I'm pretty sure every one of us carry one. I have mine everywhere I go. Put in a hard box because I break it a lot. <laughs> It's a real easy thing though. It really, really helps the police too. And it may sound crude and harsh, but if you get to know the girls that are out there, then we're able to step out to help them. Like it was said, I was told that we show a little bit of hatred to them. It's not a hatred, it's just an iron hand. For a long, long time, we've molly collied something that's been around since the dawn of man. It's been in since the Wild West days. With our group, we give them the politeness that we call them a lady of the night when they cooperate and take it away from our children. When they try to be polite manners and keep themselves covered and act like a lady. But when it pushes down to it and they're flashing body parts to our children and they're drinking alcohol on the house of God, it unfortunately buys them a dirty title. You know, and I don't like using what the law states to call them because to me that's just wrong, period. But that's also why with our group we reach out to ones like Dignity House and we've been trans very strongly with Shona Stewart to try and help these girls. We've stepped forward to find out the numbers for like clinic and the Hope Center itself. We're out there that if any of the girls have a situation with a bad John, it's no problem to give us a license plate. We'll gladly add it to the group without saying who she is. It's a simple factor that it's opening some eyes and making an initiative to push forward on it. The more we can scare the Johns out, the more it scares out the prostitution going in our neighborhood, the safer it is for our children not to be thought of as objects. And that's why our group. Woo